similar music to this. Uh, I don't know if anyone would think it's as good, but maybe because it's the only other type of this game I've played. Not ty It's not the same type of game, but it had a similar kind of... Where there's got to be music over the whole thing and has a similar, like, funky beat to it is the Pokemon XD and Pokemon Coliseum games. Uh, it, it had a similar, like friendly tone to this this kind of reminds it, this kind of reminds me of those games okay i haven't played those okay i i can't get into uh well i can't get into a lot evidently but i can't get into uh handheld games so obviously all the pokemon games are out of question but i enjoyed those 3d pokemon games mm -hmm. gotta buy a switch <laughs> buy the new pokemon i guess i got to i have to he was kind of a jerk, you know. <gasps> Miles and Larry. I you can't. turned off the music, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> no more thumbs up. That turns off the music. Story time. Okay, buckle in. It was at the very end of third grade. Like Don gone wrong. <laughs> The culprit, red, white. <laughs> <laughs> He's always doing stuff like that. <laughs> What's his natural hair color? <laughs> uh, teal. Oh, really? Okay. $38. Who? I would have questions if some kid brought thirty-eight dollars with a lunch money. He said it was for the whole month. Oh, it was for the whole month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Daniel, totally won't hurt you where you kind of just zone in and out of this dialogue. But hey, <laughs> oh wait. Okay, it's not showing too many uh, revealing details. Still had spiky hair, okay. Yeah, we'll get a different angle of this. They're not gonna let us play anymore. Hmm. And then the teacher fired a warning shot. <laughs> That's how <laughs> school was different back in those days. <laughs> Teacher threatened to shoot me. <laughs> Wait, so was bullying rampant, or was teacher walking around with guns and all the kids should have been really well behaved? What? It just wasn't a good time for me. <laughs> Teacher thought he did. Yeah, teachers in public schools fire off guns. Oh yeah, all 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 the time. What is that shirt? <laughs> Nobody. T yeah, <laughs> he's wearing a little hat. Steel Samurai. No, the Steel Samurai doesn't come until hey. later. Oh yeah, but he's got a little stick with a leaf on it. That's pretty cool. What's that card on the upper left? So neat. No, that's not. You mean neat. the upper right? <laughs> yeah. Upper left of his, from his, yeah. I don't know why I would say his perspective, but. I'm assuming that's either like a, a defendant thing or oh. it'll say like Phoenix right on it. Oh, okay. It's like almost legible. <laughs> it's in Japanese if oh, it's okay. legible, but. Alright. Because I think his Japanese name is like. Ryonosuke. Ryonosuke. Like 
That's when it happened. She actually shot me. <laughs> Amateurs. Who would call everyone in their class an amateur? <laughs> Edgeworth. Miles? Yep. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> He's dressed like Jigsaw from Saw. What? <laughs> Looks like Billy the Puppet. Von Car then Von Karma walked in. He was a janitor at the time. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Shut up, Larry. No one cares what you say. <laughs> never caught. <laughs> He's still out there somewhere with Edgeworth's $38. <laughs> Great job, Larry. That was just a, f a formal moment in my childhood and you just don't remember it at all. That was cool. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> going back to this. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my father. I already know how to point. <laughs> <laughs> That's step one in lawyering school. <laughs> the DL6 incident, which is totally not important <laughs> in this case right now. We need to find the thirty-eight dollars. What are we doing? Yeah, this this started as a murder trial, but it's going to end with <laughs> <laughs> you owe me thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> Revenge is best served twenty years after the fact. <laughs> What's the statute of limitations on stolen lunch money? I feel like it's not that much. Uh, yeah, the Gord's. Yeah, we're taking the Gord City School District down. <laughs> I'm going to become a uh, defense attorney that's O and 3 or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to become a defense attorney who never wins. <laughs> you literally have to take me out of the game because the <laughs> Phoenix can't lose a trial. Yeah, that's what they did. They didn't make Edgeworth the prosecutor for game two because uh, nope. the, reader, the, the lead writer didn't want uh, him to just to keep losing. <laughs> can't sully his reputation. Okay, we got to bring Edgeworth back to some capacity, but we can't have Phoenix beat him again. He took a game. He took a one-game break. What do we do? Oh, we'll have the player play as him. That's how. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the interesting things, I guess, is each game has its own prosecutor. Mm -hmm. So it's like one one way to keep all the games separate. It's like, oh yeah, that's the one with with that prosecutor. Mm-hmm. As you can see in game five, it gets a little weird. I can the character imagine. designs. I'm just looking, how are they going to keep upping the, hey, I've got you. Like, Von Karma's got the snap. I'm wondering how they're going to keep upping that. Because I feel like if they keep upping it, trying to outdo themselves, I feel that by, like, game five, the guy's going to do a flip before he says anything. He'll just do a backflip, and then he'll go into his testimony. 
They'll go into his uh, objections. Somebody does that, don't they? <laughs> so, so most of the time, uh, they most of the time they'll have their own fancy animations for being like, "Ha ha, I got you." Mm-hmm. A lot of the times, they're very violent. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like, why doesn't the judge stop this? And it's like, "Ha ha ha, that's very funny." <laughs> Phoenix is getting whipped right now. <laughs> he just got a bunch of shards of glass thrown at his face. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, they... they I, I can only them. imagine. Plus the animation's like uh, more elaborate in the later games because this was originally a Game Boy game. Oh yeah, Game Boy Advance game, so... That's why you became a defense attorney. Timmy Edgeworth... You couldn't have just friended him on Facebook and <laughs> <laughs> found him that way. This is where I could be like, when did Facebook first come out? But And then be real petty about that, but I won't. I'm the only one. It's 2017, bro. Whatever. <laughs> We're in the future. Future. The deck collectors will be at your residence shortly. <laughs> I'm gonna go apologize for uh, blaming him for all this. <laughs> I couldn't think of anybody else. I'm gonna take over the store now. He's gone, he's out. The deed will be on the table. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> you know, Larry, it's been fun, but I am just really tired of talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Edgeworth, let's get into that dream. <laughs> no, don't bring up his money. <laughs> He'll get really angry. Do you know how much that would have been worth if I had invested it at the time? <laughs> I remember things like that. Well, it probably only mattered to me anyway. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we both have our own reasons for becoming defense attorneys. Your yours is a family legacy, mine is because lunch money. You know, you, you see all those, like, detective stories all the time where it's, like, the detective's, like, in his 50s or 60s, like, my wife was murdered 30 years ago. It's been my life's legacy to find him and bring him to justice. I'm gonna find that $38! <laughs> <laughs> and how's it gonna feel, Phoenix, when you're on your deathbed and you did complete your life's mission? Because you won't. Let's talk to our pal. But you're a main character. You can't oh, be a bad you. guy. <laughs> Why would you do that? Who is this? Anyway, you look. Oh, okay. The hook. Mm. 
with no food. Shut up. Just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, I like it empty. I like that. I'm going to sit in the judge's chair today. <laughs> <laughs> Innocent. Is being a defense attorney really worse than hanging out with Von Karma all the time? <laughs> I can't imagine that's true. <laughs> He has a 455 pound power clean. It's amazing. He's 65, but that doesn't stop him. <laughs> He's like Vince McMahon, but worse. Let's see how that's Um, okay, that wasn't really helpful, but... <laughs> oh, we did. We tried. We're back at the Gourd Lake. Our favorite place. Now that we've been here for a while, do you prefer Gourd Lake or the the studio from, from Case 3? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Gourd fun? Lake because it, there's not a head in the road that excuses a lot of things. I don't know. I can't blame you there. <laughs> I hate that head. It's Mr. in the Monkey. roads. <laughs> it, there's a the road. There's something in the road. He couldn't have got over it. Whatever. Anyways, I don't have it in front don't of me. Don't insult Mr. Monkey. <laughs> I have to. I would decapitate him again if I could. Oh, never mind. Watch out. Come, she's going to snap his tie in half. <laughs> no prob, pal. Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's hustling. You still have my metal detector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it back. We should have took that dog. Missile the dog. He would have taken his dog back. He'd be like, can you take care of this thing? Yeah.